Today we take music for granted. Every place you go, you're surrounded by music. It doesn't matter whether you're in the elevator. It doesn't matter whether you're in the grocery store at home. Uh, the kids actually uh, have music all the time with the invention of the iPod. Everybody has music, earbuds in their ears. But when you roll the century back a hundred years, a hundred years ago, we didn't have portable music. Music was either created by people in their homes, and once upon a time, most homes had uh, the piano or a guitar, and people would sit around and play together, or they would go out and hear a concert, or if they were going to a fairground or going to a, um amusement park or a carnival or a uh, dance hall, there were these wonderful instruments. And I'm standing in front of one today, and this one is an Imhoff & Muckel Badina II. Now, this is a European instrument. It's very European in its actions, its appearance, and the way it sounds. And these were incredible instruments. These were all mechanical. They had pipes in them. They had percussion in them. Uh, they ran off of uh, rolls that actually had the music already uh, played, uh, and they mechanically reproduced uh, some wonderful music. And we're going to see some of these uh, marvelous devices today. This particular instrument, there are only two survived. And there's only one in the United States, and we're standing in front of it. So stay tuned. We have some interesting instruments to show you. This actually is a German-built three-monkey automaton. And the interesting thing about this device is that the monkeys are dressed in very regal clothing. And that was actually uh, done to uh, kind of make fun at the royalty of the time in Europe. So I'm going to actually crank this device and uh, you'll look at the monkeys and see them they actually do all sorts of things and then uh, we'll try to get a close-up so you can actually see some of the eye movements. Again, a German automaton, a three monkey uh, device. <laughs> Thank you. 
this instrument is so large that uh, we're actually going to have to show it to you. I'm going to have to move the camera around it. We're in a uh, a uh, confined space, so we're we're not really able to get the camera out far enough and the lights out far enough to to capture the entire instrument. But it's a Dutch fairground organ, uh, and it was actually built three years ago, but the carvings date back into uh, the 1930s. So this is a relatively new version of one of the uh, fairground instruments that you would find uh, that would be providing uh, entertainment and uh, music uh, for the festivities of the day. <laughs> 